something special for you guys. Um, I heard a while back that our school did something like the 10 plagues, and as soon as I heard that, I thought that would be such a cool thing to demonstrate God's amazing power and how much He loves His people. And so I wanted to include it, include the whole entire school. And um, they did an amazing job. We did lots of little practices. So all our kids are showing off the plagues and showing God's power and just trying to tell everyone um, just how much God loves us and how much He's looking out for us. So we have an awesome Moses, an awesome Pharaoh, a narrator, and everyone else will be demonstrating the plagues. So thank you so much for coming. And we will get started, so I hope you guys enjoy. Hello, today we are going to learn the story of Pharaoh, Moses, and the Ten Plagues. It's a story how it's always good to listen to God until you stay out of trouble. Because Pharaoh didn't listen ten times, he got himself and his people in a whole lot of trouble. And so we go back thousands of years to the land of Egypt where Pharaoh grew and God's people. The Israelites were slaves. God had sent Moses to ask the Pharaoh to set his people free. Moses didn't want to go. He was actually very nervous about the whole idea. But he did what God told him to do. Who wants to speak to me? I've come again in 
the name of God, and he asked that you let his people go. You must be kidding! Who's going to make my bricks, drive my camels, and build my pyramids? God says if you do not let his people go, he will send another terrible plague against you. He will cover the land with flies. My answer is still no. Go and leave me now. And so Moses left and Pharaoh slept. God sent the fourth plague. He sent swarms of flies into the land of Egypt. The swarm that makes the Egyptians face drove them crazy. They were everywhere.
so Moses left and Pharaoh slept. God sent the eighth plague of time and swarm of locusts.
So, if I could just make sure you guys just stay tight, okay? And you just don't move. Okay, good. Mr. McKip, maybe we could turn the main light on. Oh, yeah. So, who, I, this is the lady right here who said, let's do this. Let's give her a hand, shall we? And, and the list is long, but uh, who, who was sort of on your team here besides everybody? There was a special group. So a huge, huge helper was um, Mark. We call him Mr. E. Where is he? Thank you guys so much again. 